Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. If you're a subscriber, you might recognize this. It's the MIDI Kalimba. I've done a couple videos about this. It's effectively a reimagining of the Kalimba in a digital formatter as a MIDI controller. Well, the lady who created this, Sheila, she also sent me this right here, and this is the MIDI Pan. And as the name sort of states, it's kind of similar. In fact, it's very, very similar, but it's more in the layout of a hand pan or a steel tongue drum. So you can see there are more notes um, and the shape is different, but you can see like the IO is the same, the reset button on the bottom and such, the controls on the side, like it's very, very much um, the same design, just with a different sort of playing surface. Now, while you'd think, hey, it's probably gonna play exactly the same, I actually found out that that's not true. It's actually quite different. And I think it's because this one sort of invites you to set it down and play it like this, you know, more like you would a traditional steel tongue drum. You can hold it and do this kind of a thing. But this one, just because the um, pads are so much closer together, it's kind of natural to hold like this. Um, so they actually feel quite diff different when you play them. Uh, but let me just show you that here real quick. So since this uses um, the micro USB, or is this mini USB, mini USB, no, micro, I don't remember, whichever. Um, let me go ahead and plug it in. We can see it boot up here and we can see the exact same menus we saw on the MIDI Kalimba. It's currently in the A minor pentatonic scale set to the velocity auto channel two, um, et cetera. What I'd like to do is actually compare this to a real steel tongue drum. So over here, I have my Luna Bell from Idiopan. And also one of the reasons that I'm using this one is because it's the smallest steel tongue drum that I have. And so it fits well on the screen, but also it has a uh, built-in pickup. So I can grab a cable here, plug it in, and then um, we can get a direct signal into the DAW. Um, which will just kind of help with the recording here. So one thing that is different on this over here, the center pad is the lowest note on the drum. And also this note and this note are the same. And that confused me a little bit at first, um, but I actually made a suggestion to Sheila. I'm like, it might be kind of cool if you could customize this note and you could make it the root like it is now, you could make it the root an octave lower, you could make it the root an octave higher, maybe a fifth an octave lower or whatever, you know, just have some changes there. that might be a cool feature to add for the future. Over here on this one, so this tongue is actually the A and this tongue is actually a lower note. So let me just show you a real quick improv on this one. So one thing that you notice that's very different on the steel tongue drum, if you put your finger down and don't really pick it up, you don't get a lot of sound. It's really about that release. You know, when you pick your finger up is when you get the sound. So over here, if I touch the pad and release real quick, I get a really quick note. If I hold the pad, it sustains a little longer. Now that's gonna depend on the patch, of course, whether or not it has sustain built into it, but we certainly get like a longer note compared to something like that. Whereas we don't get that on the traditional steel tongue drum. Now, another difference, of course, this is a, a, a MIDI controller, so it doesn't make any actual sounds on its own. So, you know, it's not an acoustic instrument where this is an acoustic instrument. Yes, I'm using it as, a, as an electric instrument here, but I can just as easily play it and get tones out of it so I can take it out in the woods or something like that and play it. Well, I actually realized you can do the same thing with this. Okay, now to demonstrate what I'm talking about, I have the MIDI pan here, and this is my iPad running Alchemy. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the cable so they are connected and it should power up over here. There we go. And the sounds you're gonna hear are coming from the speakers inside the iPad. It isn't direct audio, but you should get the idea. So that's what I'm talking about. Now I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because I'm planning to do another video later this week where I showcase this setup. Now, of course, you don't have to use this solely as like drum type sounds. You can use it for anything you want. So here I have like a synth pad.
And of course you can change the key, the octave, all of that very easily. So let's go up to a B. Let's come over here to our octave and go down to the third octave. And let's come down here and let's do um, a Phrygian scale. Okay, one other trick that this thing kind of has up its sleeve, on the scale menu here, you can obviously cycle through a lot of different scales, but if you go all the way to the bottom of the menu, there's one here that says kit, and that puts it in percussion mode, so then it'll work um, as a percussion surface. So if you pick a drum kit patch on your DAW, now I am not much of a finger drummer, but if you are, you might this might appeal to you. Let me just try it real quick. Whoops, see I already lost it. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm not, I'm not a finger drummer guys, but you get the picture. Okay, so there you have it. That's kind of a quick little overview of the MIDI pan uh, from Peacock Media. Um, you can see the logo down here and I will put her uh, link to her store and her YouTube channel in the description. And don't forget there's this one as well. You can get both those there. And she has some other really cool products as well. So if you're into this kind of stuff, it might be a cool website for you to check out. But I really thank Sheila for sending these to me to help collaborate on. I think that's really awesome when these small manufacturers do that and actually try to get opinions on it. And she said, you know, you play actual steel tongue drum like this, so you might be a good one to provide um, feedback. So, but if you are curious, on these, they are available on her website. And again, that link is in the description. Thanks for tuning in today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me.